The Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church, also known as the Indian Orthodox Church, is an autocephalous Oriental Orthodox Church centered in the Indian state of Kerala. It is one of the churches of India's St. Thomas Christian Community, which has its origin in the evangelical activity of Thomas the Apostle in the first century. The church is headed by the Autocephalous Catholicos of the East and the Malankara Metropolitan, presently Baselios Mar Toma Palos II. History it is believed that St. Thomas Christians of Malabar were in communion with the Church of the East from 496 to 1599. They received episcopal support from Persian bishops, who travelled to Kerala in merchant ships through the Spice Route, while the local leader of the St. Thomas Christians held the rank of archdeacon and was a hereditary office held by the Pakalamatam family. In the 16th century, the overtures of the Portuguese Pedrodo to bring the St. Thomas Christians into Latin Rite Catholicism led to the first of several rifts in the community by Portuguese colonialists and the establishment of the Catholic and the Malankara Church factions. Since then, further splits have occurred, and the St. Thomas Christians are now divided into several fragments, due to Western interferences. St. Thomas Christians were administratively under the single native dynastic leadership of an archdeacon a native ecclesiastical head with spiritual and temporal powers, deriving from Greek term archidiakonos and were in communion with the Church of the East, centered in Persia, from at least 496. The indigenous Church of Malabar, Malankara followed the faith and traditions handed over by the Apostle St. Thomas. During the 16th century, the Portuguese Jesuits began deliberate attempts to annex the native Christians to the Catholic Church, and in 1599 they succeeded through the Synod of Diemper. Resentment against these forceful measures led the majority of the community under the Archdeacon Thomas to swear an oath never to submit to the Portuguese, known as the Cunin Cross Oath, in 1653. The Malankara Church consolidated under Mar Toma I welcomed Gregorios Abdel Jalil, who regularized the canonical ordination of Mar Toma as a bishop. Meanwhile, the Dutch East India Company defeated the Portuguese in supremacy of the spice trade in Malabar in 1663. The Malankara Church used this opportunity to escape from Catholic persecution with the Dutch East India Company's help. At the request of the Malankara Church, the Dutch brought Gregorios Abdel Jalil of Jerusalem, a bishop of the Syriac Orthodox Church, in their trading vessel in 1665. Mar Toma I forged a relationship with the Syriac Orthodox Church and gradually adopted West Syrian liturgy and practices. Early history the East Syriac prelate, Mar Yuhanan signed on behalf of the churches of Persia and India at the first organized gathering of Christianity, the Synod of Nicaea held in 325 AD. The East Syriac canonist Ibn Tayyib says, in the time of Catholicos Mar Isak 309-410, the Metropolitanates of Fars and Meru and in the time of Mar Ishu Yabai, 2, 3, 582-660, Halwan, Herat, Samarkand, India and China were created. Mar Ishu Yab warned in his two letters to Mar Shimyan, Metropolitan of Fars located in southern Persia that his independent stand will not hamper the ecclesiastical needs of the people of India. Ancient East Syriac Persian crosses found out in many places with writings in Pahlavi language engraved on it, as seen at Kadamatam Orthodox Church, Khadiyam Canaanite Church, Mylapur Church are also pronounce our close relationship with Eastern Church. Malankara Nazranis also had evolved a script Karshoni to write Malayalam after making certain changes in East Syriac script, even though Vatishuth an early form of Malayalam was in vogue. The present-day Malayalam script was formulated and used by Indo-Aryan settlers on the lines of Devnagari for the translation of their epics to Malayalam after 12th century. Are that Padiola in copper plate preserved at University Manuscript Library, Trivandrum, declaring the sovereignty of Malankara Church in 1806 was written in Old Malayalam script. An early script, Karashti used in Ashoka edicts prevailed in northwestern India was also developed from Eastern Syriac, which helped to decipher identical edicts written in India's original but defunct Prakrit languages. Even many documents related to 17th and 18th century also reveals the attachment of Nachanis to eastern Syria. A memorandum by Malankara Nachanis to Roman Pope against compulsive westernization during the 17th century states that, 
All our prayers are written in the Chaldean Syriac of our Apostle Father St. Thomas. A Jesuit priest Nunes Barutha of that period states that, Marthama Christians are not believe in any other teaching other than written in Eastern Syriac. In 1682, Bartholomew, a West Syrian Malpin from Aleppo, was appointed in Verapoli Seminary by Carmelites. But Malankara Nachanis strongly opposed the appointment to teach their students by a West Syrian teacher. Canon of Adiamperor Synod page 79 specifically asked to discontinue the use of Eastern Syriac in liturgy and prayers for native Malayalam. Eastern Aramaic Syriac was widely used in Malankara up to the 17th century, and all borrowed words and names from Syriac to Malayalam are phonetically in Eastern Syriac. Later, Malankara Nachanis were almost adapted to Western Syriac and liturgy due to ecclesiastical support and long stay of many Antiochian prelates in the second half of 17th and 18th centuries. At the outset of Latinization, Nachanis were reluctant to accept Latin bishops. When Vasco da Gama arrived in Cochin in 1502, Metropolitan Mar Yahb Allah assisted by Mar Denha, Mar Yaqob and Mar Yuhanan sent by Babylonian Patriarch Sea of East Syriac Catholicosate shifted from Seleucia to Baghdad began to known as Patriarch ministered from Ankamali along with Archidiaquana. Cardinal Tisserant in his book Eastern Christianity states that even after the arrival of Portuguese, Babylonian primates, continued to send prelates and they ministered in Milanakara viz. Mar Jacob (1503–49), Mar Joseph and Mar Elias (1556–69), Mar Abraham (1568–97), and thereafter Mar Simeon. Most of them were detained by Portuguese under Gone Inquisition and sent to Bassein, Versailles, Lisbon, or Rome for orientation in Latin language, tradition, and liturgy. In 1601, Menezes consecrated Fr. Francis Ross as Bishop of Ancomali, which marked the beginning of Roman Catholic hierarchy in Malankara. In 1652, Mar Ahathala, a prelate from East Syria reached Mylapore most emotive place in India for every East Syriac in early times and the news of his detention and torture by Portuguese, caused the great uprising of 1653 known as Kunin Bend Cross Oath in which Malankara Nazranes proclaimed that they or their descendants will not make any relation with Rome and elevated Thomas Arkidyakwana as Metron Bishop by laying hands on him by twelve priests. Meantime, the Capuchin missionaries Catholicized and formed Chaldean Catholic Church and restricted their old tradition to send bishops to Malankara. In light of such a circumstance, to get apostolic hand to the newly elevated bishop, the Orthodox churches like Antioch and Alexandria were contacted through the Dutch East India Co. due to their vast mercantile connections in cities and ports. Antiochian Church was the first to respond, sending their Jerusalem bishop, Mor Gregorios, via a Dutch ship, reaching Malankara in 1665. The Dutch who defeated Portuguese in 1663 for trade monopoly and the Malankara Church wanted to escape from the clutches of the Portuguese and caused to the arrival of many more contingent of Antiochian prelates, including Mafrionos of Mosul, Eldhomar Baselios passed away on the eighth day of his arrival and considered as a saint, whose mortal remain is interned at Kothamangalam and then Mar Sacrala with a team of metropolitans and priests. When Malankara Syrians began to accept Antiochian prelates, Roman faction got an opportunity to call Malankara people as Puthankutukar new tradition and call themselves as Pajyakootukar old traditionalists to cover up their 54 years of new European relation. In fact, Latin rites introduced in Malankara by Menezes were much more strange and unfamiliar than West Syrian rites for Malabar Christians who were traditionally accustomed with Syrianism. Moreover, they found the West Syrian liturgy and rites to be much attractive due to their perceived pure Syrian tradition. Latin Catholicism failed to attract Malankara Nachanis, hence Portuguese had to resort to appeasement as well as to pressure tactics to bring Syrians into their fold. In the Kunin Cross Oath almost total strength of Syrians supported Archidiaquana, but within few decades, majority of churches were annexed to Romanism. Kerala's long waterways helped the Portuguese soldiers to directly intervene in coastal churches, while geographically interior churches spared due to lack of roads at that time. They asked Kochi, Vidakamkor, Thekamkor and Ambalapuza kings to put diktats to their Syrian subjects to join Catholicism. Please see topic. Church constitution topic. The Church had no written constitution until 1934, but was governed by consensus, traditions and precedents. 
It was the vision of more Dionysus, Vatasaral, to have a clearly defined uniform constitution to govern the church administration. He initiated action and appointed a subcommittee with O.M. Cherian as convener to submit a draft constitution. The committee members had discussed the fundamental issues with the Metropolitan in several rounds, but it was not finalized and passed materialized in Cherian's lifetime. After his demise, the constitution was presented in the Malankara Christian Association meeting of 26 December 1934, held at M.D. Seminary. It was adopted and brought to force. The constitution has been amended three times to meet specific situations and needs. The validity of the constitution was challenged by the Patriarch Party in the court, but the Supreme Court's final verdict declared the validity of the constitution. Every member of the Church is bound by the rules and regulations laid down in the Constitution. The Constitution upholds the autonomy and autocephaly of the Malankara Orthodox Church. It is episcopal in its polity and not congregational. At the same time it upholds democratic principles by safeguarding the rights and privileges of the laymen. The Constitution enshrines the fundamental features of the Church, provides direction for its internal administration, and preserves its integrity and autonomy. The essential features of the Church are provided in the preamble. The first article emphasizes the bond of relationship between the Orthodox Syrian Church and the Malankara Church. It defines both Malankara Church and Orthodox Syrian Church are sister churches and both heads of churches are to be mutually respected and accepted in their respective sees. The second article says about the foundation of the Malankara Church by St. Thomas and the primate of the Orthodox Syrian Church of the East as the Catholicos. The third article refers to the name of the Church and the fourth about their faith traditions. The fifth is about the canons governing the administration of the Church. The whole constitution conceives the Malankara Church as self-sufficient in all her requirements, be it temporal, ecclesiastical, or spiritual in nature, and upholds that the Malankara Orthodox Church is rightly autocephalous in character. 20th century. Givergays Mar Dionysus of Vatasaral, who ascended the throne of Malankara Metropolitan in 1908, played a significant role with the other clerical and lay leaders of Malankara in re-establishing the Catholicos of the East in India in 1912. The Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church wanted to retain its autocephalous nature. It appealed to the deposed Syriac Orthodox Patriarch of Antioch, Mor Ignatius Abdul Masi II. He ordained Marimadithil Paulos Mar Ivanios as Basilios Paulos I, as Catholicos of the East on the Apostolic Throne of St. Thomas. The ceremony was held at St. Mary's Church, Niranam on 15 September 1912. The Church in the 20th century remained the most favored and strong denomination to be fully eligible for St. Thomas heritage. The lineage of St. Thomas is preserved based on two grounds. Firstly, the founder and first primate of the Church is St. Thomas, the Apostle of Jesus Christ, and secondly, the Church has no dependence on nor is under any foreign churches outside India in short, autonomous and autocephalous. The history of immigrant community of the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church of the East in the United States begins approximately in the mid-20th century. During this period a number of priests and laity came to the U.S. for higher studies and training. Matthews Mar Korylos Metropolitan later Moran Mar Baselias Mar Toma Matthews II stayed at the General Theological Seminary in 1963 and returned to India in 1964. Mar Korylos celebrated Holy Kurbana occasionally during his stay there. Fr. K. M. Simon looked after the church service after Mar Korylos left for India. This service was ecumenical in nature, Malayalis of any denomination participated. In 1965, the United States Congress passed a bill which cleared the way for thousands of professionally qualified individuals to immigrate to the U.S. Many Malankara Orthodox Christians came to the United States during this time. In 1968 Fr. G. John, John Givergaze, an ecumenical fellow at Union Theological Seminary in New York City, started celebrating the Holy Kurbana every Sunday in the seminary chapel, thus organizing the first congregation on America soil. After 1970, the Malankara Orthodox Church gradually spread to many major U.S. cities with increasing numbers of clergy and laity. In 1976, the Holy Synod decided to establish more dioceses in various parts of the world. 
At this time, the numerous churches in America were placed under the authority of the Metropolitan of the Bombay Diocese, Thomas Mar Macarios. On 14 July 1979, Mar Macarios was given authority over the new American diocese under the authority of the Catholicos of the East, Baselias Mar Toma Matthews I. In 1991, Matthews Mar Barnabas took charge of the diocese. In 2002, Zacharias Mar Nikolovos joined the diocese. In 2009, the American Diocese was split into the Northeast American Diocese and the Southwest American Diocese. As of 2013, the Northeast American Diocese had more than 50 parishes, more than 40 priests, and 14 deacons and seminarians. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hierarchy, Distribution and Doctrine. Topic: The spiritual regional head of the church is the Catholicos of the East and the temporal head over church assets is the Malankara Metropolitan. Since 1934, both the titles vest in one person. The official title of the head of the church is the Catholicos of the East and the Malankara Metropolitan. Baselios Mar Toma Palos II was enthroned as Catholicos of the East on 1 November 2010 at Parumala Church by the Holy Synod, the 91st Catholicos of the East in the lineage of Apostle Thomas, the 8th after reinstatement in India, and the 20th Malankara Metropolitan. Oriental Orthodox churches, including the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church, accept only the first three ecumenical synods. Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church, as all other Oriental Orthodox churches, uses the original Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. Without the Filioque Clause, the Church primarily uses the Liturgy of St. James, as does its sister church, the Syriac Orthodox Church of Antioch. The Church in India was connected to the Church of East through the Catholicos of the East, existed in Edessa, Seleucia, Tigris and Mosul at various times. Today the Church conducts liturgy in West Syriac Rite, Malayalam, Hindi and English. The Church has theological seminaries at Khatiyam and Nagpur, and dioceses and churches in most parts of India, the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Western Europe, Africa, Persian Gulf nations, Malaysia, Singapore, Australia and New Zealand. The name Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church refers to St. Thomas Christians of India that come under the Catholicate of the East whose supreme head is the Catholicos of the East and Malankara Metropolitan, with its headquarters at Devalokam, Khatiyam, Kerala, India. <inaudible> <inaudible> Liturgy since the 17th century, the Malankara Church uses the Malankara Rite, which belongs to the Antiochene liturgical tradition. The East Syriac Persian, Byzantine, Armenian, Georgian and Maronite liturgies also belong to the same liturgical family. In the first half of the 5th century, the Antiochene Church adopted the Anaphora of Jerusalem, known under the name of St. James the Disciple. In the 4th and 5th centuries, the liturgical language of Jerusalem and Antioch was Greek. Therefore, the original form of St. James' liturgy was composed in Greek. Following the Council of Chalcedon in 451, the Eastern Church was divided into two, one group accepting the Council and the other opposing it. Both groups continued to use the Greek version of St. James. The Byzantine Emperor Justin 518 expelled the non-Chalcedonians from Antioch, and they took refugees in the Syriac-speaking Mesopotamia on the Roman-Persian border modern eastern Syria, Iraq and southeast Turkey. Gradually, the Antiochene liturgical rites were translated into Syriac. New elements such as Syriac hymns were introduced into it. Mar Gregorios of Jerusalem came to Malankara in 1665 and introduced Syriac Orthodox liturgical rites. The most striking characteristic of the Antiochene liturgy is the large number of anaphoras order of the celebration of the Eucharist. About 80 are known and about a dozen are used in India. All of them have been composed following the model of liturgy of St. James. The ritual service liturgy is called the Holy Kurbana, which is derived from the Aramaic word korban Hebrew, kurban meaning sacrifice. The Holy Kurbana is mostly conducted and prayers recited in Malayalam. However, some parts of the Holy Kurbana are sung in Syriac. During the 20th century the Kurbana Kramam, i.e., the book containing the order of worship, was translated into English, for the benefit of worshippers who lived outside Kerala, who did not know to read or write Malayalam. 
Topic: The Catholicate. Topic: The word Catholicos means the general head. It can be considered as equivalent to universal bishop. There were only three ranks of priesthood in the early church, episcopos bishop, priest and deacon. By the end of the 3rd century, certain bishops of certain important cities in the Roman Empire gained pre-eminence over other bishops and they came to be known as metropolitans. The ecumenical councils of the 4th century recognized the supreme authority of these metropolitans. By the 5th century the bishops in major cities such as Rome, Constantinople, Alexandria and Antioch gained control over the churches in the surrounding cities. Gradually they became the heads of each independent regional church and were called Patriarch, which means Common Father. The same rank in the churches outside the Roman Empire was called Catholicos. There were four ancient Catholicates in the church before the 5th century. They were the Catholicate of the East, the Catholicate of Armenia, the Catholicate of Georgia and the Catholicate of Albania. None of these ranks and titles are the monopoly of any church. In Orthodox tradition, any apostolic and autonomous national church often referred to as local church has the authority to declare and call its head Catholicos, Pope or Patriarch. The reign of the archdeacons started from the 4th century and lasted until the 16th century. The third stage started when the archdeacon was elevated to the position of a bishop by the community with the name Marthama I in 1653. Since then the head of the community was the Marthama Metrans and later the position was developed to Malankara Metropolitan with more recognition. In 1912, the Catholicate of the East was relocated to India, and Basilios Paulos I was seated on the honorary apostolic throne of St. Thomas as the Catholicos of the East. The headquarters of the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church is the Catholicate Palace located at Devalokam, Khadiyam, in Kerala state of India. It is the official headquarters of the Catholicos of the East who reigns on the supreme throne of St. Thomas the Apostle. This seat of the primate of the church was consecrated on 31 December 1951. Mar Elia Cathedral, Khadiyam is the thronal cathedral of the Catholicos of the East. The new Aramana Palace, which was built in 1961, was inaugurated by the visiting Armenian Catholicos Vazgan I. Holy relics of Saint Thomas the Apostle are kept in the Catholic Chapel. The mortal remains of Basilios Givergays II, Basilios Agen I, Basilios Mar Toma Matthews I, and Thomas Mar Makarios Metropolitan are entombed in this chapel. Topic: <laughs> List of Catholicos of the East. Topic. The Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church was founded by St. Thomas, one of the Twelve Apostles of Jesus Christ, who came to India in 52 AD. At least from the 4th century the Indian Church entered into a close relationship with the Persian or East Syriac Church. From the Persians, the Indians inherited East Syriac dialect in liturgical use and gradually came to be known as Syriac Christians in India. In the 16th century Roman Catholic missionaries came to Kerala. They tried to unite the Syrian Christians to the Roman Catholic Church and this led to a split in the community. Those who accepted Catholicism are the present Syro-Malabar Catholics. Later, Western Protestant missionaries came to Kerala and worked among Syrian Christians. The first few decades of cooperation was cordial, but dogmatic differences and colonial nature of the missionaries created splits in the community. In the 17th century, the church came to a relationship with the Antiochene church which again caused divisions. As a result of this relationship the church adopted West Syrian liturgies and practices. The church entered into a new phase of its history by the establishment of the Catholicate in 1912. At present the church is using the West Syrian liturgy. The faith of the Church is that which was established by the three ecumenical councils of Nicaea 325 AD, Constantinople 381 AD, and Ephesus 431 AD. The Church is in communion with the other Oriental Orthodox Churches namely, Coptic, Armenian, Syriac, Ethiopian and Eritrean Orthodox Churches. The Church is in good ecumenical relationship with the Eastern Orthodox, Roman Catholic and Protestant Churches. At present the church has over 2 million faithful with 30 dioceses all over the world. <inaudible> Saints of the church Topic 
Parumala Thirumeni Givergays more Gregorius, entombed in Parumala Church, canonized by the Holy Synod in 1947, led by Catholicos Basilios Givergays II. Basilios Yeldo, Yeldo more Basilius, entombed in Marthama Cheriapoli Kothamangalam, canonized by the Holy Synod in 1947, led by Catholicos Basilios Givergays II. Givergays Mar Dionysus of Vatasaral entombed in Old Seminary canonized by the Holy Synod, in 2003 led by Catholicos Basilios Mar Toma Matthews II Topic. Current Metropolitans Topic. Topic. Theological seminaries Topic. A number of seminaries are present in the church. Most of them which currently serve as monasteries functioned in full capacities at one time or the other. At present, the two seminaries that offer bachelor's and master's degrees in theology include Orthodox Theological Seminary, Khatiyam. Also known as Pazhaya Seminary, M.D. Seminary St. Thomas Orthodox Theological Seminary, Nagpur Topic. Ecumenical relations topic. The Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church was a founding member of the World Council of Churches. Various theologians were involved in negotiations between the Oriental Orthodox and the Byzantine churches. The Indian Orthodox Church participated in the Ecumenical Council of Oriental Orthodox Churches held in Addis Ababa, in 1965. The contributions of theologians including Paulos Mar Gregorios, Givergays Mar Osthothios, Fr. Dr. V. C. Samuel to ecumenism and theological dialogue are respected across the Christian world. Other organizations to which the Church belongs are Faith and Order Commission Christian Conference of Asia Global Christian Forum topic. Churches with historical importance Topic. Topic. Dioceses Topic. Topic. Malankara Association Topic. The Malankara Association is the elected body consisting of members from parishes which manages and controls the religious and social concerns of the Church. Traditionally convened as the Malankara Pali Yogam, Malankara Pali Yigam meaning Parish Assembly of Malankara, the modern form of the association is believed to have been established in 1873 by Pulakotal Joseph Mar Dionysios II by convening a meeting of the parish representatives in Parumala. In 1876, Mulandharuthi Synod, an elected body in the name of the Malankara Association officially took charge. Church constitution details the powers and responsibilities of the association. The Malankara Metropolitan is the president, and the diocesan metropolitans are the vice presidents of the association. The association elects the Malankara Metropolitan, Catholicos of the East, Metropolitans, Priest Trustee, Lay Trustee, Association Secretary and Managing Committee members. Each parish is represented in the association by a priest, and lay people elected by the parish general body, proportionate to the membership strength of each parish. Topic major shrines topic topic See also topic List of Catholicos of the East List of Orthodox Churches topic Notes topic topic References topic Fallbush, Erwin Fallbush, Jeffrey William Bromiley 198, The Encyclopedia of Christianity, W.M. B. Eerdmans Publishing, 2008, ISBN 978 0 8028 2417 2. Freikenberg, Eric. 2008. Christianity in India From Beginnings to the Present. Oxford. ISBN 0 19 826377 5. Tamke, Martin. 2009. Die Christen vom ter Abden, Hinführung zur Serisch Orthodoxen Kirche. Verlag Otto Lembeck, 3,874,765,806. Reverend Drive, Joseph Chiron, et al., 2002 Tradition and History of Indian Orthodox Church, p. 300-423 Menachery, George The St. Thomas Christian Encyclopedia of India Vol. 2. 
Manashari, George The Indian Church History Classics, The Nazranis. Vidakakara, Benedict Origin of Christianity in India, A Historiographical Critique. Media House Delhi. Van der Ploeg, J. P. M. The Christians of St. Thomas in South India and their Syriac Manuscripts. Dharmaram Publications. Wilmshurst, David The Ecclesiastical Organization of the Church of the East, 1318–1913. Louvain, Peters Publishers. Wilmshurst, David The Martyred Church, A History of the Church of the East. London, East and West Publishing Ltd. Topic external links Topic Official website of the Indian Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church Official website of the HH. Moran Mar Baselios Mar Toma Palos II, Catholicos of the East Official online news portal of Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church